She'll get better. She has to. Has she said anything? The doc's on her way here to check Miranda out. We did the right thing, bringing her here. She was off, from as soon as she came off the shuttle. Talking about a distress call? Everything. I just want to make sure she's okay. This isn't like her. We'll get her fixed up. You should talk to her. Keep her spirits up. And to think, yesterday I couldn't wait to get back on the Resolute, to get back to see you. You can't imagine how stupid I feel right now. I can't even believe it myself. You're not stupid. Not by a long shot. We'll figure out what's happening. We'll get you fixed up. I'd like to believe that. I'm scared, Carter. I don't want to find out that there's something really wrong with me. Something they can't fix, or even explain. You're in good hands here. There's not a lot that Starfleet Medical doesn't have an answer for. I'm not so sure about that. They don't know everything. There she is. It's good that you brought her here. Petty Officer Maris and the rest of the Security Away team skipped the bioscan when they came back from Otari. And they've been impossible to track down since. We don't know what kind of pathogens they might have picked up. Is that going to... Sit still. This will just take a moment. <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm some kind of science experiment. Or a monster. It's kind of freaking me out. I don't know how, but... I'll make it up to you. I promise. You can't sweet-talk your way out of this, Carter. What is it? A pathogen? No. That's not Petty Officer Miranda Maris. I don't know who that is, but it's not Miranda. I know that sounds hyperbolic, but that's the simplest way to put it. What? And who is it? I couldn't begin to say right now, but comparing the baseline readings I'm getting here with the DNA and brainwave records in Miranda's 15501, well, I'm seeing impossible variations. I guess you could call the process bioforming. This body is Miranda's, but her DNA is changing into something else. But what's more troubling is there appears to be another mind layered on top of her baseline brain scans. Miranda isn't in control. Someone else is. That explains a lot, but it's not the explanation I wanted to hear. There's no sugarcoating in my sick bay. But the real Miranda's still in there. It's on top of her personality, but she's not completely gone. The new brain patterns have overwhelmed her baseline. If her engrams are still there, it's at the level of background noise right now. I want to take some functional readings. Take this and get her talking while it scans her. I'm sure you don't want to speculate, Doc. But is there any... I 
don't want to be incinerated as biohazard. I don't know why I did it. Any of it. But it's like there's a voice in my head. It was telling me to go download the data. It told me not to let you stop me. And there was nothing I could do to say no. But I didn't want to. So this voice in your head, what else does it tell you? It's not like a conversation. It's hard to explain. Well, I still can. I just want to say, Carter, I'm sorry. I really am. I hope you know that. Don't give up on yourself just yet. We can beat this thing. Oh, I'm not giving up. What the? Kind of transporter pad? The drive! of the flame. They can't get away with that. You have to shoot Miranda. never gonna believe this. The reason the Universal Translator didn't recognize that language is because it's only ever been read. It's the Takan language. Get your filthy Hotari hands off me! We'll burn your planet to the ground! Animals! Wait! No! <laughs> This can only mean our time has come. I'm only sorry I couldn't find a more suitable host for you. All in good time. 
This is only the beginning. They're working together? An Olydian and a Hotari? They did something to him. Secure the Cartabula. Cartabula? It's the energy source. Spread out. Search the vault. Go back through the mine. Cut off their escape. Find them! Time to go. They're trapped. They're blocking the only exit. Maybe not. Can you buy me some time? For what? This vehicle looks a lot tougher than that barrier. woman the one driving the machine! Tylus! 
We're surrounded. I'll get it working. I just need some time. Here we go. Resolute, two to beam up immediately. Resolute, come in. Still can't get a lock. Miranda was able to transport through the storm. There has to be some path through that we're not seeing. Tetrametric radiation is saturating our sensors. There is too much interference to pick up the residual transporter signature. Wait, 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 wait. Tetrametric radiation? Of course. I can align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. Crystals emit tetrametric pulses every 3.8422 seconds, roughly 26 centihertz. All of this is connected. The storm, the warp killing field, the crystals, Miranda's alien transporter tech. Okay, I've got the transporter in calibration. There are a lot of bioscience in that mine, all stacked on top of each other. I need something to identify the commander signal. Something loud, energetic. Understood. Is that energetic enough? More than enough. I can lock onto their bioscience now. I've got their bioscience isolated. Commander, we have your signal. I'm gonna tunnel a path through the ionic interference.
got a path. Just gotta calibrate the signal. Energize. Is degrading. Can you hold the signal? I'm trying.
got it. Come on, come on. Yes! Get her to sickbay. Captain Solano and Ambassador Spock have just returned from Hotel. Take a look at that. Reinick, I need you on the bridge, now. I'm here. The Elidians are preparing to attack Hotari. Status report. The systems are now fully powered. All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire! We should hail the Elidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Recommendation, Commander. We need to act quickly. Before this spirals out of control. Maneuver the Resolute underneath their warships. Block their shots at the planet's surface. Clever. Shields at maximum, Mr. Hamad. You heard the Commander. Aye, Captain. Now think twice about firing on a Federation ship. Lydians. They've powered down their weapons. Ah. Uh, you sure about that, Mr. Ahmad? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Commander Ermot, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from the Tau Moon. Take us out of range. Aye, Captain. Captain, flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zeldi to the Starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate contaminated atmosphere. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Kobliat, you sided with the Hotari in the negotiation. But that does not matter now. My crew is going to die. Please. I beg of you. You must render assistance. System failures are compounding around my ship. We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. While we may not be able to transport the Elidians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chovak. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chovak and Bedrosian in the shuttle, and get it done. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission, as will I. We will bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? The pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Elidians back to the Resolute. Gather the pattern enhancers, and get to the docking bay.
We're going on the wrong mission. Oh, uh, what's that? We're going to rescue the Elidians, the people that oppressed the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then, and I won't stand for it now. Their bodies stolen and used like puppets. It won't be easy. She's gonna fight us every step of the way. We've seen that. Remember, it's not her that's fighting us. Yeah, I know. But... Right now, we've got other lives to save. Yeah. The away team is ready. Resolute to Shuttlecraft Melville. You're cleared for takeoff. Acknowledged, Resolute. Melville taking off. We are within range. Any closer will put the shuttlecraft at risk. Preparing to transport the away team. Energizing. almost completely drained. And the other systems, too. Oh, no. We gotta get to their transporter room. The atmosphere in here is turning to poison. All of these Elidians are going to die if we don't get them out of here. These must close in case of emergency. They don't have enough power left to function. Carter, give them a charge with your phaser. Should make them open.
not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. What does it look like? We're here to rescue you. And yet, you cannot even open a door. Yeah. Whoa there. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. Then we can get your people off the ship. Make sure they're evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. I got this one. You get the others. Pattern enhancers are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. We're alive. Here they come. <laughs> okay, coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. Please step on the platform so we can evacuate you, Admiral. The crew goes first, Harminta. Sir. I mean this. You! Get on the platform already! Okay. The interface is in Elydian, but the layout is the same as the Starfleet transporter. I just gotta do what I did before. Select the people to transport. Plot a path through the ionic interference. Path goes through too much interference, it won't work. Okay, just 
have to calibrate the signal gain to get the highest possible output. Even at this range, the interference is too much. The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. Diaz, the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. Melville to away team. Energize. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. This is Resolute. We have the Olydians safely aboard. <laughs> we did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Good work. Keep it up. Yes, Commander. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. to those in my charge, sir. I must insist you go so you can lead our people. I will see to any stragglers. Yes, that may be for the best. But first, let me thank our human saviors. I'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over. For all your brave work. You're very welcome, Admiral. Does Starfleet let you wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. Back. We're ready for tr Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. Massive power surge! 
Ash. Sending available power to the annular confinement beam. I have the Illidians in the pattern buffer, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute. Nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. I am losing their patterns. I need more power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. Do it. I am trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. Please! She is injured. Lieutenant Pedrosian has been injured, but the last transport was successful. Oh, thanks, B. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as the transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge. When it came on board... You're right. The Takan energy source. They call it the Cartabula. It's here. Is that...? The intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Lydian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. We don't know where this ship is going. But we are not lost. We can still do something. We can still fight. We'll stop them from getting the Cartabula wherever they're taking it. I like this plan, and I shall fight with you. That's all well and good, but if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner here. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. We do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very... bold of you, Mr. T.S. Live long... and prosper. I hear voices down the corridor. Be here soon. I'll guard the door. You just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here. There. The aft cargo bit. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now!
Locked in. Four to transport. Come on, Bell. <laughs> Bell. It's too late for him. Carter. Three to transport. Energize. Duty often calls for sacrifice. She knows it, and our people on the Zeldi know it. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobok. Have them bring us back, and tell them we'll need medical waiting for Lieutenant Bedrosian. Yes, Commander. Through your efforts, we were able to save almost a hundred Elidians from certain death. As for Lieutenant Bedrosian, well, Duval will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. I feel horrible about the whole thing. I just hope she'll forgive me. Our crew expects us to protect them. It's always hard on us when we can't. Commander Rydek, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Olydia is in your debt. We cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us. Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Takan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. But I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'll follow your lead. We can keep this under wraps for now. Always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. I made the right decision. And in turn, I hope you'll have my back as well. Of course. Loyalty like yours doesn't go unnoticed or unrewarded. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is 
there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. The Hotari must know where the ship is headed. If you can even call them Hotari at this point. Whoever they are, they've cut off all communication. And our only source on the inside is now in sickbay. Tylus. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the Captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We either sound the alarm prematurely and look bad if nothing comes of it, or we keep this to ourselves and take the blame when it blows up in our face. Either way, we can't afford to get this wrong. Indecision is not without its own consequences. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Elidians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. With the Cartabula gone, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridium infusion. Uh, it looks like I am. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. I'm right here. 
Where? Before you say anything, I just want you to know I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was a success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Eventually. I... I just hope this isn't the end of my career. Can't be much of a tactical officer if you can't see what's coming. But this is all I've ever wanted to do. I have absolute confidence in Dr. Duval. If she says she can restore your vision, then I truly believe it's possible. I hope you're right. All right, you two. Lieutenant Bedrosian needs her rest, and you have an infusion waiting for you. I will check in on you soon. I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Aside from almost running out of Duridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. The captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you've dodged the issue. We can't make mistakes. Might go down as the most obvious thing a first officer ever said. You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I wouldn't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano, I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Lucky it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sickbay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. What we learn down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, then it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? <laughs> 